character. Yeah, and like you were talking about, they there was no armor customization at all. They yeah. just look pretty well, much the same. The, there was weapons, the armor they did but, have did look good though, and, yeah. it, and it did put that very stunning graphics on the on the characters themselves. Yeah, um, definitely impressed with that. Impressed with the weapons, especially the fact that you can pick up new weapons. One of the questions that I had, and especially what I, what I had put in my in my review for the game was that I wasn't sure why they didn't choose to put armor, armor pickups and that sort of thing. Yeah. So, but it, it was impressive graphics on the characters and they were impressive graphics on the environments as well, even though I yeah, believe that I like the good. old environments better in 99 Nights 1. Yeah, well, and the mobs at the beginning seemed really dull. Um, and then later on, um, especially that last level that you were playing with That's Zazie, right. one of the characters, they actually started looking a lot more unique and it's still 500 guys that look exactly the same, but I guess they looked a little bit better. So, yeah, well, they got red this time. They, they yeah. painted them, they had some cool glowy <laughs> effects that were going yeah, on. Yeah, that might have been so it. So it was better than doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, um, well, the biggest problem that I had was you're kind of torn between actually fighting any of the mobs or just running through and completing the objectives. And the guy at ETA actually it told you, for that, so. he said, um, don't try to kill everything, just run through and complete yeah, all the objectives. Right. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think that's a better way to, to approach it, because that's pretty much what I did. I tried to go in with a 99 Nights 1 aspect to it to see how that would turn out. And then I went in with what the guy from Konami gave me, and he was totally right, which obviously... Yeah. So... Was, so, but I mean, one of the biggest things that, that you need to look at when you're looking at the game is, is what they're attempting to do with it. And they, they claimed that it was going to be more difficult and that was going to have better graphics than the one before. I don't, I don't believe, even though the graphics are great, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the graphics. There's not a huge difference. Not a, not a difference enough to say, to wow, notice, that is yeah. a huge difference. I mean, it's kind of like the difference between Halo 2 and Halo 3. I mean, you're, yeah, you're basically looking polished, at the same, same game. Yeah, it's a little more polished, but it's like they use the exact same thing and just so, kind of reformatted everything. The good thing about the game also, um, well, at least uh, another good thing about the game, is the co-op. Really enjoyed the co-op. We we played that for There's a couple like different game hours, types. Five hours. Yep. We have race. They have survival, which we played the most. Yeah. Uh, so I really, you do have to use strategy in co-op. You do have to level up. A lot and, more than in the regular yeah, campaign. Exactly. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah. And so I would have liked to see a a stronger campaign. The story's getting better. I haven't completely finished the game yet, but the story is getting better as it progresses. Yeah, because at the beginning the story is really weak and you don't really know what you're doing, you're just running around slashing right. a bunch of stuff and it kind of made it harder for me to actually get into the storyline and actually know what I'm actually doing rather than just killing a ton exactly. of guys. So. so, and the other thing I do want to bring up is that uh, in, in co-op, they don't have the ability to play campaign mode, which I think one of the best things about Dynasty Warriors, which is the competing game for this, yeah is that you can play during the campaign on split screen. Yeah. And the fact that you can't play campaign makes no sense to me at all. It's, it's almost well, as if even, like, it's going to be easier to make mini games. Just go ahead and throw them in there. Well, and even the co-op, can you even play the co-op on split screen? No, I don't believe so. Yeah, you have to do it over system Because it's only one player. Yeah. yeah, so there is no split screen. And so, yeah, that's one of the things that was fun about Dynasty Wars is just sitting at the same box See, but, running through. Yeah, exactly. And, and I felt the same way about Modern Warfare 2. I, to not have single player campaign be the co-op is, I don't know what focus group, exactly, I'll pull it straight from my review, I don't know what focus group possibly told them that it would be a good idea to implement mini games than to just use the, the campaign, which is perfectly good enough on its own. Yeah, well, and it seems like they always try to make excuses, like with Modern Warfare, they said, well, they thought it would take away from the story of the campaign, and so they just made the Spec Ops mode, and in this, they just made the co-op well, missions and stuff. And Infinity so, Ward hasn't played Halo or Halo 2, yeah. so I mean which you know seems to be the only thing I've been bringing up in this, this show, but yeah. you know, it's true. I mean, it, it was fine. It was fine in Halo, it was fine in Halo 2. The only thing it did is give the experience Well, and I don't know why everyone doesn't just so. copy Halo's system because as, it seems to work. Yeah, it seems sure. to work better than any others that I've played so far. So I think, you know, and, and just as you can read on uh, the gamer.bg slash blog, I believe that the game, definitely for anybody who loves button mashers, which is myself, I just, I really enjoyed the Dynasty Warriors series and I really enjoy this series as well. Definitely a buyer for anybody who enjoys those types of games. Um, I would rent it, maybe. Um, I really wasn't that impressed overall. Um, so, yeah. Button mashers, I, I need a little bit more story or more interactive environments other than just knocking down pillars to actually 
try to recommend a game for someone uh, to yeah, buy. So. Exactly. And I, and, I, and I definitely had that, that opinion as well. For, for someone who just plays games, wants to go out and and it, it's nothing that you can't accomplish in, in a week, really. Yeah. Getting through the storyline, getting through that. But yeah. So and I and I believe that everybody can agree, and, and even yourself, that the boss battles are are pretty unique in it. So that yeah. that does make it. Better. That's definitely true. Um, so. Trying to kite the bosses, it's a little bit more entertaining than just fighting all the mobs. So, so I'll give you that. <laughs>